Good morning children. Now we shall learn how to calculate the volume of a cuboid. So what is volume? Now we know all things be it a ball or a dice or an eraser or a gift box all need space and the amount of space which any object or a solid shape takes is called its volume. Now let us try to find the volume of a cuboid. See this is a big godown of chaman. Now what does he store in the godown? He stores a carton containing soaps. So this is a carton containing soaps and he stores many such cartons in the godown. Let us see how this process is done. A truck comes and start filling it with boxes containing soaps. See first one, two, three, four, five, six. A row was filled with six boxes. Slowly he filled all the rows one by one. Now each row contained six boxes. See all the floor area got used up. Now where can he put more boxes? Well he can form multiple layers of boxes or you can say he can pile up boxes one above the other. So how many such layers are formed? One, two, three, four. Yes, four such layers were put and all the space of the godown got used. Now let us see stepwise how many boxes could be put in the godown. So if we start from the beginning, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes got filled up in a row and Chaman continued to fill all the rows one by one until the whole floor area got used up. Let us see how many rows were filled. One, two, three, four, five. Five rows of boxes were filled. Now total how many boxes were there? We saw in each row six boxes were there and how many such rows were there? One, two, three, four, five. Five such rows were there. So the total number of box would be six multiplied by five which is equal to thirty boxes. Now once the floor area was fully filled he started putting another layer on the top of the bottom layer. This way how many layers were filled? If we can see there are one, two, three and four layers. So four layer of boxes were put in the godown and the godown was completely filled. Now let us calculate how many boxes were there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes were there in each row. And how many rows are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five such rows are there. So the number of boxes in each layer would be six multiplied by five. See, it is equal to 30 boxes in each layer. Now, how many layers were there? If we see, there would be one, two, three and four. So, four such layers are there and we saw in each layer there were 30 boxes. 
so how many boxes could the go down accommodate it would be see there are four layers and in each layer there are 30 boxes so in four layers there would be 4 multiplied by 30 which is equal to 120 boxes so the whole of go down could accommodate 120 boxes right children so now you know what is the volume of this go down it is equal to 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 number of boxes this is equal to 120 boxes so you can say the go down space is equal to the space taken by 120 boxes let us see how the go down was filled up first the floor area was completely filled and it comprised of how many boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 box in a row and there were 1 2 3 4 5 such rows so total number of boxes used were 6 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 30 now if you remember area what is an area here you can say the area of go down is 6 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 30 boxes how can we say that what is an area it is the region bounded by a shape so here the region which is bounded by red dotted line forms the floor area of this go down so we can say the floor area is equal to 30 boxes now suppose the boxes which were used to store the soaps had each side equal to 1 meter see here each side of the box is equal to 1 meter so using this information let us calculate the area and the volume of the go down so how many boxes were used 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 boxes were used in a row which means that the length of this side is equal to 6 boxes or 6 meters because the side of each of the soap box was equal to 1 meter now coming to this side there were how many rows 1 2 3 4 5 there were 5 rows or you can say this side is equal to 5 boxes length so this side we can say is equal to 5 meters this is equal to 5 meter so what can you say this floor area of the go down is a rectangular land with length equal to 6 meter and the width is equal to 5 meters so what would be its area it would be equal to 6 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 30 and what would be the unit it would be square meters so the area of the floor would be equal to 30 square meters and what is the volume of this go down let's calculate it see here the go down is completely filled and what did we calculate the length is equal to 6 meters the width of this go down is equal to 5 meters and what is this layer equal to we saw it was equal to 4 boxes which means we can say the height of this go down is equal to 4 meters and we said the number of boxes used would be 
equal to 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4. What does this mean? This means the space of the go down is equal to 6 meter multiplied by 5 meter and multiplied by 4 meter which is equal to 120 boxes and here it would be equal to 120 cubic meters. Why? Because all the lengths are in meters and the volume unit is equal to cubic units. So what did you understand? That the space inside the go down is equal to length multiplied by width multiplied by its height. To reiterate what was the space inside the go down? Let's see it. Here 6 meter was the length of the go down and the width was equal to 5 meters and coming to the 4 layers this 4 layers is equal to 4 meter and it is equal to the height of the go down and what is the space? the total space is equal to 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 120 and what is the unit? the unit here would be for the volume cubic meters as all the sides are in meters and if we see closely what is 6 into 5 6 is the length and 5 is the width so you can say 6 into 5 is equal to the area of the floor of the go down or you can say volume is equal to area multiplied by the height which is 4 meters understood now coming to the unit of volume if the soap box was used had its length of each side equal to 1 meter then the volume of this cube would be 1 cubic meter and if the each side was equal to 1 centimeter then the volume of this cube would be 1 cubic centimeter so now you know the unit of volume is cubic unit where unit could be anything meter centimeter kilometer etc depending on what was the unit used for the each side length. So the unit of volume depends on the unit of the length used. So now you know how to calculate the volume of a cube where all the side lengths are equal. So if the side is equal to L the volume would be L multiplied by L multiplied by L cubic units and coming to the cuboid the volume of cuboid would be equal to length multiplied by width multiplied by height cubic units so now you know how to calculate the volume of a cube and a cuboid that's all for now bye bye children